So in today's video, I'm going to be looking at the differences between my Lecky Micro Trail Race poles and the brand new Harrier Helvellyn Carbon Pro poles. The reason why this video is a bit of a comparison is because I've been using these poles for two or three years now, but they are one of the more expensive poles on the market. Whereas Harry are about to release these new poles and they've been kind enough to send them to me for some feedback and just to see how I get on with them. The majority of my races are long or in the mountains, so poles are just part of my kit and have been for over five years now. And at this price point, which is over £150, I just wouldn't use anything else. Whereas now Harry have released these poles with specifications very similar to these but for just 90 pounds so as a mountain runner but more importantly as a coach it's my job to stay on top of these things so if the more affordable choice turns out to be the better one everyone is better off so like i say specification wise they are very similar both made of carbon both weigh within five grams of each other both are fixed length z poles so it really just comes down to the subtle differences in the design so this is them folded down there's not much difference at all here apart from the fact that the handle is a little bit thicker on the Harrier poles compared to the Leckies but if I'm honest I've had them both packed away behind me on my race belt and they both sit very nicely no problems at all. The fact that the Harrier poles are carbon gives them a huge weight saving compared to the previous poles that they've released. Now as we fold them out you get to see one of the subtle changes so they do clip in like this into the mud guard at the bottom which is pretty nice just a bit of detail on the poles when you're in a race and you're tired or you're going up a big hill they need to be pretty simple to fold out again no issues there i've been using them on a mixture of hills you can see the ones in the background anything from say 10 percent to 40 percent gradient and stowing them away getting them out again has just not been an issue for me not sure if you can quite see that but at the bottom where the mudguard is the helvellyn pros from harrier is slightly bigger so being a uk brand maybe that was on purpose to help you out it could definitely make a little bit of difference on our muddy trails in the uk now when it comes down to the stiffness of the pole which can be a point of difference a lot of the time they are very similar now this isn't the best stress test you've ever seen but I've been using these for three years and I've been using these on a number of different runs so they like I say they have been put through some rigorous testing the only thing that's missing from that really is probably duration I've only used them for review I haven't used them for three four eight hours like I might do in a race and also just resilience over time like I say these have lasted me three years these come with a one-year guarantee I'm pretty sure I'll check that when I'm at home but the fact that they're well built and you can always stay in good communication with Harry or the company themselves should put you at ease with that kind of thing. If I was going to be a little bit picky about differences I would say the Lecky is marginally stiffer when you're on the steeper stuff and you're putting power through. You can feel a little bit of that give in the Harrier more but it's not been an issue it's just something that I've noticed. I guess one of the biggest differences will always be the grip just because Lecky will always use the shark grip where you have a glove which just clips on nicely and Harrier having the more traditional loop handle. The handle itself is much improved I think from other Harrier poles and I imagine where some of the weight saving has come from. It's also nice and comfortable, the strap is easily adjusted and it's soft on your wrist. So if you're a big fan of the more traditional loop or prefer it over the shark grip that a Lecky might have, I would say that this is an obvious choice. You could argue that in the hot weather the cork is a slightly better option just because your hands get sweaty and that doesn't really affect it with the cork grip. Some of these differences are down to personal choice and so marginal that it's hard to recommend these over these when there is a £60 saving. So although £90 is still a considerable investment for people, you have to remember the materials that are being used here and the weight of the pole just puts it as a legitimate contender against everything else on the market and when I'm coaching I do find it slightly uncomfortable that I need to recommend a pole that is 150 plus pounds what I can guarantee is if someone is looking for their first pair of poles this will be what I would be advising and I have to thank Harry again for sending me these out before they're released in mid-October so if you're watching this video before then you can go and check out their website get yourself on a pre-order list if poles are on your list the idea of this video was just to keep it short and show you some 
of the differences between two carbon poles with very similar specifications but much different price tags. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about the poles or your training or the videos, stick them in the comments below. I would love it if you liked, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help me grow the channel too. And I'll see you on the next video.